up yours, gamey. Uh, I mean, one up, gamey. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to one up, gamey. I am the obsessive compulsive gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Totem Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is my review for Andrew Yunos 2. So, dear viewer, don't you dare forget to subscribe to this channel and check out the Obsessive Compulsive Gaming YouTube channel while you're at it. Andrew Dunos 2 is a bullet hell horizontal shooter type game that released this year. Andros Dunas, isn't he that chap that gave you a wedgie when you were in university? Uh, no, Bertram. That would be Andros Dunos the second. Oh! Ever since my days at university, I've been hoping I would bump into that chap again, just so I could give him a wedgie. Oh, did he move away? Uh, no, he got stabbed to death by a dwarf dressed as a nun, I believe, back in 2007. Oh my! So yes, like I was saying, dear viewer, this game is a bullet hell type game in a similar vein to other games like R-Type and Raiden 5 and uh, other bullet type games. So what differentiates this particular bullet hell game from those other ones I mentioned? Well, haha, <laughs> I'm so glad you asked dear viewer. Uh, I didn't hear anything. Shut up, Bertram. So yes, to answer the question, what differentiates Andros Dunos 2 from other bullet hell games? And the simple answer to that is absolutely nothing. Like those other games, you will play as a spaceship and you go through levels and shoot lots of enemies, and then at the end of the level you will encounter a boss fight. And you will then take down said boss fight and move on to the next level. Now this game has seven stages in total, which you might be thinking is rather short. And it is. But these types of games are usually made so that they can be replayed, particularly on higher difficulties. Uh, what difficulty did you play this game on, OCG? Well, Bertram, you beautiful bastard, you. I played this game on the difficulty that I usually play these types of games on. Now, Bertram, as you're aware, you know I'm the type of chap that enjoys a challenge. Therefore, I played this game on... Uh, the hardest difficulty? Are you bloody insane, Bertram? Do you think I've got a death wish of some kind or a need to frustrate myself? No, I played this game on the easiest difficulty and I was able to saw through the game with very little trouble. Now this game operates on a lives system. A live system? Yes, Bertram, a lives system. And that means that when you lose all of your lives in this life system. Life system? Yes, Bertram, life system. When you lose all of your lives in the life system, Life system? Yes, Bertram, life system. When you lose all of your lives, you will then be hit with a game over. But thankfully, you can resume the game from the stage that you lost all of your lives in. So, that's a pretty good thing. Yes, that is. 
So what did I think of this game? Well, I do enjoy bullet hell shooter type games. And uh, this one is no different to many others that I have played. So you can think of that what you will, dear viewer. Is the game fun? Yes. Is the game long? No. Is the game expensive? I have no bloody idea. I was given a review code for this game. Therefore, do I think you should play this game? Uh, yes, sure. Why not? If you've got nothing else to do, if you're all wankered out from masturbating too much, or there's nothing on the television, or you need a bit of time away from the wife and your screaming children and your mistress is still on holiday, then yes, I do think you should play this game. Therefore, I'm going to give Andros Dunos 2 a 7 out of 10. And uh, what would you give Andros Dunas the second? Oh, I'd give that bastard a wedgie if I could get my hands on him. Sadly, I cannot. Maybe in the afterlife. Yes, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My review for Andros Dunas 2. If you enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then feel free to give me a thumbs down. Don't you dare forget to subscribe to this channel and to my own channel, Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. But remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram.